This lecture video is about inverse variation, and we saw direct variation last time. With direct variation, as one variable increases, the other variable also increases. With um, inverse variation, the opposite is true. When one variable increases, the other variable is decreasing. So a little bit of difference as far as that goes. Um, the rest of it works very similar. Um, our statement here will be y varies inversely as x, or y is inversely proportional to x. And so the equation this time is going to be y equals k divided by x. Before, with direct variation, it was y equals k times x. With inverse variation, it's y equals k divided by x. <clears throat> so again, k is the constant of variation, or the constant of proportionality. And we're going to be doing the same thing. So first, we need to figure out what k is. And then second, we're going to need to solve for one of the variables, x or y, in the equation. So this time we're going to find the constant of variation, and y varies inversely as x. So we'll have the equation y is equal to k over x. And then we're going to replace y with 4, and x with 3. And so we get 4 equals k over 3. To solve this for k, we just need to multiply both sides by 3. And so we get k is equal to 12. So that was the first step, was to find this constant. And then the second step, we have y equals 12 divided by x. Now we want to find y when x is equal to 6. So replace the x with 6. We get y is equal to 2 divided by 6. Sorry, 12 divided by 6. And that gives us 2. OK, now our next example, the amount of time it takes a swimmer to swim a race is inversely proportional to the swimmer's speed. A swimmer finishes a race in 50 seconds with a speed of 3 feet per second. Find the speed it takes um, 25 seconds to finish if it takes 25 seconds to finish the race. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, but just take it one piece at a time. So we're going to look at the first sentence. So amount of time, we'll call that t. It takes a swimmer to um, swim a race is inversely proportional. So we're going to have t is equal to some constant k, and it's inversely proportional. So what I write next is going to be dividing the, into the k. Inversely proportional to the swimmer's speed. And so um, most of the time people use r for speed. Um, rate is the other word for speed. So you can use s or r. I'm going to use r for rate. OK, and so now the next bit of information is going to give us the information we need to figure out what k is. And so we have 20 seconds, so that's their time. And 3 feet per second is their rate. And to solve this for k, we simply multiply both sides by 3, and we get k is equal to 60. So we have t is equal to 60 divided by r. And the last bit of information is going to tell us what we need to know to solve for either t or r. And we want to find the speed if it takes 25 seconds to finish the race. And so this time we're looking for r, and we're given the time that it takes to finish. So 25 equals 60 divided by r. And so we need to get the r out of the denominator. We'll do that by multiplying both sides by r. So we get 25r equals 60, and then divide both sides by 25. And so um, 60 divided by 25 gives us 2.4.
and so that will be our um, speed. And let's see, what are the units on this? So feet per second. Oops. Okay, and then always make sure that you write a sentence to answer the question. So, the speed is 2.4 feet per second. to finish the race, whoops, if it takes a swimmer twenty five seconds. And this isn't the only sentence that would be acceptable. There are many ways you could write that sentence. But just make sure that you answer the question with a sentence when you're doing word problems. And one more of these, the intensity of light I received from a source varies inversely. So we have I varies inversely. So we're going to have I is equal to some constant K divided by what they have listed next, which is the distance D. If the light intensity is 10 foot candles, so our intensity we're going to replace with a 10 at 21 feet. So replace D with 21. And we need to figure out what K is. So multiply both sides by 21. And we get K is equal to 210. So our equation I is equal to 210 divided by D. And now it says, what is the light intensity at 12 feet? So replace the D with 12. So we get I is equal to 210 divided by 12. And 210 divided by 12 gives us 17.5. And then just um, restate this. So the light intensity is 17.5 and it's foot candles. at 12 feet. Okay, that's it for this um, lecture on inverse variation. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.